Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through Instagram security code not received. It's pretty quick, quick and easy, so let's jump right in. I have Instagram open here. If you're trying to basically log into Instagram, you don't remember your password or your username or whatever, you can hit forgot password and then go over to phone and it'll text you a security code. However, if you're not getting that security code, there are a few things that you can do to make sure that you do get it. The first is you'll swipe down from the top right and you can see I have do not disturb turned on because I'm recording this. However, you'll want to make sure that's turned off so that you get notified if you do get any of those security one time password codes. So make sure that's toggled off. The next thing we'll do is hop out of here and we'll go into settings. And from here we'll scroll down and we'll just find messages right here. So you'll see iMessage at the very top, you want to just toggle that off and then on again. That kind of resets your iMessage and make sure that that's working, that you're getting any iMessage that might come through. The second thing you'll want to do is if you scroll down, you can see send as SMS, toggle that off and then on again. So most likely if you're getting a security code from Instagram, it's through SMS. So you'll want to make sure that's turned on. And then the last thing that you want to do is towards the bottom, it says filter unknown senders. So what this will do is it basically will delete any you know text messages from anybody that's not in your contact list, which Instagram will send you a random text from a random number. So this cannot be turned on. So you have to make sure that's turned off. Um, sometimes you know that's just turned on by default, or you might not know that's actually filtering or deleting all of these security codes that are texted to you. So once all of that is done, you can just swipe up, close out of both of these apps, and then you should be able to get back into Instagram and use it like normal. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks.